Hey everybody, it's me, Miss Kent, with today's number talk. We were talking last time about the power of 10 or using 10 when multiplying. And not only the power of 10, but how powerful 10 can be, even when you're multiplying by 8, 9, 11, 12, anything above 10, 10 can be very powerful to use. So today we're going to look at this first equation, 10 multiplied by 7. And the 7s are some of those times tables that we kind of struggle with. But let's look at 10 multiplied by 7. I want you to take a minute, stop the video if you need to, and think about what your solution would be. Okay, most of you probably came up with 70 pretty quick because you know the power of 10 would tell us that 7 to the power of 10 would be 70. And a little bit of a glare, funny camera issue today. If it's the way it's, sorry guys. Okay, would it have been very efficient for us to think about counting by sevens? Seven, 14, 21, 28, that right? Am I even doing it right? Because once I get past that, I'm kind of starting to get confused, so that would not be very efficient. What if I'm looking at my number line and I think about counting by 10 seven times? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. That would be more efficient. It would make more sense to say seven, 10 times, excuse me, to say 10, seven times, than to say seven, 10 times. But we know the power of 10, that would make seven, 70. Let's look at another equation and hopefully the power of 10 can help us solve this one. Eleven multiplied by seven. Take a minute and stop the video and figure this one out. Mental math. Okay, I hope that you all saw this and you've got seventy as your answer. Now we were talking about being the most efficient. Was it efficient to count by sevens ten times, like seven, fourteen? No, that's not very efficient because most likely we're going to get messed up because counting by sevens is not an easy task. However, do you remember earlier when we counted by tens seven times? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. And that was... 7 times, or excuse me, that was 10 seven times, but now I need to have 11. And I know that 11 is 1 more than 10, so would I need to jump 10 more or 7 more? Because now I'm multiplying by 11 groups of 7. Here I had 10, 7 groups of 10. But I need to think of this as having one more group of 7. Okay. I also could think of it this way. Thinking about my number bonds. And what is this property called? Distributed property. I could think of it as 10 times 7 plus 1 times 7. And 10 times 7 would be 70. And 1 times 7 would be 7. So my answer would be 77. 
a lot of you will start thinking in your head more about the distributive property of pulling that 10 out because you know the power of 10. Let's look at another one. Oh, what about this one? Stop the video now and try to solve this one mentally. Now, I know some of you might be thinking about that old finger trick, which one I have to count. Ooh. We shouldn't have to do that because I know 10 times 7 was what? 70. So if I was looking at my number line, and 10 times 7 was 70, I like to switch up the color so you guys can have a nice visual. What do I know about 10 and 9? That's right, 9 is 1 less than 10. So do I need to jump back a whole 10? No, I would only go back 7. And if you're really good with making 10, you know 7 and what make 10? 7 and 3. So if you're going to take 7 away from 70, you know your answer would be 63. 63. Okay, I'm going to give you one more. It's going to be like a little challenge one. It's not really that challenging though. Now I want you to stop the video and try to work this one out mentally. Trying to think of using 10 times to solve this. So stop the video, try to work it out mentally. If you need to use pencil or paper, that's okay because Ms. Kent's not there to help you. But try to come up with an answer mentally. I know that I came up with the answer of 90. Is that a reasonable answer? I would say it's reasonable, but I know it's not correct. And how do I know it's not correct? Because 9 times 10 or 9 to the power of 10 is 90. So could 9 times 9 be 90? No, but I say it's reasonable because it's very close. It's a very close answer. So even if I looked at my number line, and I said 10 nine times. Ten, 10 nine times would be 90. What do I need to do to get nine nine times? I would need to take away one group of 9. So if I'm here at 90 and I take away one group of 9, one group of 9, oh, I know how to make 10, and 9 and 1 make 10. So if I took away one group of 9, I would have one left, and my answer would be 81. I hope that when you're solving multiplication equations that you can use this 10 times to help you, help you solve those equations. Have a great day.